the end, if you lose, it's like, yeah, my characters suck. But if you win, yeah. it's like, yo, you lost these characters, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Fox, who currently has to stare down uh, two Shotos in a, uh, in a Kazuya. So, like, that's going to be pretty stressful to deal with overall. And I think that's why we're seeing the Puppet Master to start things off. Put Rosa out there so you can actually box out someone like Ryu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that the game plan against the, uh, you know, people say Shotos, right? I like to lean towards fighting game characters because I'm purist like that or whatever, right? But uh, against these styles of characters, you really have to be comfortable playing at a distance and just saying, all right, like, I'm not going to get to interact with you on, you know, my terms all the time, especially if I'm up close, you get to control the game. So we're seeing Sunfish here, like you're saying, starting with the Rosa with the puppet character, just making some distance. But honestly, I think that this is really good for Beecroft to lead with the Ryu because you have a really good fireball game, right, with the Shokunetsu and all that. You know, just getting rid of the Luma. Still able to live though, man. Good, good recognition realizing, okay, if I just immediately up be here, I'll be just fine. But also one thing that works out in terms of Beecroft here in this lineup too, the characters on Sunburn's side, not the heaviest in the world. Hero, a little bit more weight compared to the other two, but they, you have incredible kill power. So even if you're getting hit off a bunch, if they can't seal the deal, things are going to be rough. It, it, I, I like the way Sunburn's approaching a bit so far with the patient play, but I think Rosa needs to put in some work here. Like, you can't let it get the box at the end and not deal with the kill power on the side. Oh. Yeah, and you're talking about kill power, that Tatsu just bursting across the stage. Ryu doesn't have too many burst options, and the ones that he does have, like that Tatsu, are very committal, but he can also use it as a combo tool. Takes that burst stock off of Sunfish. Right, your feet nasty. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> watch your hands, watch your feet, bro. <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> not to stir up any controversy, I'm just saying, let's be cleanly today. I mean, it was speaking of con <laughs> commercial options, uh, almost giving up a stock for free right there. Early up B in that spot, that was smart. You take minimal punish at that point, you take a right up air, but the, the quickness, like some of those Ooh. options, much like that side B, especially half charge like that, are really good at catching people off guard. It's really hard to react to. <laughs> yeah, I love the way that Slugfish played with the hero right there and just said, all right, if I can get the Ryu off stage, right, then I can, you know, just cycle through my down beat. I can find a lot of options that can help me while he's dead. But right now, going up against the Kazuya, he's trying to fight a little bit too martial for my liking. I'd like to see him camp out for a little bit more mana, right? Especially with only 12 oh, man, available. Like, almost yeah. landed on the lawn as we see that coming in. They're coming with the with the command grab afterwards. Try to catch him with the kill, but no rage art, so it's not going to do anything. Try to catch him there as well off the side. I, at this point, Hell Sweep kills up the ledge too if you react to it, or you just <laughs> draw off smash. You see the jump coming in? Okay, you're dead. Yeah, Beatproft was literally just ready for the jump off the ledge, and I think he picked that up from Sun fish already, right? Is that the jump from the ledge is a very common option. And now, like you're saying, Fox against Kazuya, this could be a really rough matchup. I mean, Sunfish has just such a tiny margin of error to play with. And you can see that even the juggle game can be tough because you have to respect that falling downer. One thing that is pretty good for Fox in this is that it's easy to frame trap someone like Kazuya who doesn't have the best jump. He also has pretty bad disadvantage. So you want to keep that pressure on what these up airs force the jumps out, almost reading the roll. But this is actually really bad because oh. of how light Fox is. Uh, gets the shine out there, but if you get caught by the Rage Art Command Grab here, which you definitely see looks like Sunfish is looking for, tried to catch the, actually tried to switch it up there to the, um, the, the, the input throw. Yeah, 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 Unfortunately, yeah. didn't get the hit. Yeah, and that's, that's really tough for Beatcroft, who now has to go with the Ken against the Fox, and landing is going to be so tough. You're talking about it with the Kazuya too, but now it's actually going to be the kill with the Shoryu, the hard Shoryu. Beatcroft will come out on top, but it was kind of looking dicey, because I'm thinking in that matchup, right, normally focuses your best landing mix-up tool, but Fox has that multi-hit up air, the multi-hit forward air as well, if he wants to mix it up. It can be really, really tough to establish yourself after you get hit by a Fox in that matchup, but, you know, once he got grounded, he just didn't give up any more space, and it yep. was just one hit to finish it. So. Landing is the mini game against Fox, for sure. Like, it's, it's a really hard thing to do it, but I think if we're Sunfish, you want to find, maybe maybe you need one Fox to get the damage on point. Make it so you establish the B crop. I want you to struggle to land. I want you to take a lot of damage early on, and then seal the deal later with someone like the hero, because the hero is going to be much more stressful late game, when you might take out Black, or you got to deal with the buffs, and you have big hitboxes on deck, whereas with Fox, you know they have to commit hard to the hit. Mm. Granted, we're going to see the hero start things off instead, so maybe try to go for the early snipes on the kills. Yeah, I, I think that for Sunfish to go with the hero at the start, like, I don't know, I, I think that this definitely shows me that if he's going to lead off, yeah, I'm trying to think, like, if you're leading off with the hero, you must be trying to get, like, a big lead very, very early, right? Because then you're setting up with that Rosa, you get to control the game at the end, 
with her as your anchor, where he was having a really hard time establishing against the Ryu, right? That I get to control the stage. He jumps right back into the Tatsu. This is tough for Hero. Now, the bounce also very, very good yeah, against the fireball in. game. That came in so close. So you were talking about the shotgun. like having to do it that multi. Oh, 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 oh charge both gets good. Why? <laughs> yeah, you gotta respect that, especially in sorties who have single hit properties majority of the time. You don't really have a good answer to landing focus, so you have to wait for them to use that first. And now we're gonna see the fox in a window where, yeah, you can probably win on this ledge staff, but you better make sure you do, because otherwise, just single hits like that are gonna be so painful. Yeah, and he's been training a lot, which is something that you can't be doing as Fox in general, but especially when you're trying to establish a lead, and again, right, trying to let that Rosalina control the game near the end. I can't believe that didn't crumble, because otherwise that could have been the end. And yeah, once you see, jump in, wow. There you go, probably catching a, a straight dodge. You're trying to catch him. I think maybe look for a spot dodge right there, because mm. he was definitely in a position where you expect the grab to come in and get a forward throw. But, all are, you know what? Just throw an electric uh, wing god fist. There's no reason not to. If he jumps in for an air, he dies. Well, we've been seeing a lot of jumping in from Sunfish, right? That's been the main avenue of approach, whereas with Fox, normally you can establish a very good grounded game. It's going to be an untechable back here for sure, yeah. Mr. Beatcroft only one stock away from sealing out the win here against Sunfish, but this could be a tough matchup. This seems like something that could be a little annoying. I think off the rip, you want to do something like maybe laser just to kind of to put damage on deck against Luma, like mm. that, and then you come in with a quick, uh, quick dash attack, committing fully to the, the uppercut. Not so Ooh. much, I don't think that was meant to happen, but there we go, already starting things off, getting the converting a lot into back air, I've noticed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the back air really, really strong as a kill move, and uh, just a reliable combo ender too, right? If you're not gonna try and take somebody's zero to death with stuff like the Nairs, and especially a floaty character like Rosa, it can be so tough as Kazuya. Ooh, the crumple, this could lead to the last stock. <laughs> just Yo. the one hit. Yo, he's doing strings! You know, that, and you know what's funny? Because of Rosa being so tall, I think that might have helped being able to catch the, that side B coming in. Now with Rage Art, yeah, goodbye. Yeah, that's the end for sure. <laughs> no no flashy ending kill screen. It's just, all right, let me grab you. The let game was over at 60% at that point with Rosa. You were done. Mr. Beecroft coming out here with the full fighting game cast that we could talk about before. Two Shotos and a Kazuyo. That is a very scary thing. That's literally what we let off the day to talk about. Like, whoever has this lineup is going to scare a lot it's a, of people. It's a skill check. It's yeah. a skill check for sure, right? It's like, all right, do you have experience in these matchups? If yes, I'm kind of boned. But if no, then I'm gonna start smacking. And it's, uh, that is so, that's so scary. You need like you need a, a, char a character list that has good control of landing, a lot of multi hits, and hopefully they're heavy because yeah. the kill power is just so good. They don't need to get you to 100 plus. They're killing you significantly earlier than that time and time again. So having to deal with that over and over, uh, I don't think the lineup was in favor for Sunfish to run, run away with that no. outside of just straight up outplaying the entire time. Which is something that like you can do in theory, right? Like Fox is one of the very few characters that can actually box ahead with you know, any of the fighting game characters, right, where they're so good at that really close range, but Fox is one of the few that can actually fight that close range against them. And, you know, obviously the Rosa can keep them at a distance, and Hero, I mean, I mean, I don't even know what to make of that character anymore. Like, sometimes I watch him and I'm like, man, is this a bottom 10 character? And then I'll, like, watch Goma play, and I'm yeah. like, is was, this a I top 20 character? Or something like that, <laughs> yeah. like, came out and just started washing everyone over at uh, that Japanese tournament. It's yeah. like, you know what, all right, maybe this character's good. Like, it's, it's just... That's the thing with Ultimate. Like, every single character in this game can perform to some degree well and has some form of cheese, but Hero just has surprisingly good, like, KO options that you expect that half charge side B, super strong in a lot of matchups. Yeah. And it's just on mana control how good you are at, like, preemptively swinging, because he's got a lot of slow frame data, so. I hate you so much. I don't know why I just got played by that. I, I, I hate you. I hate you. God damn it, Reggie. Yeah, I he's, love got, he's got all the mix-ups, dude. He did that to me at Riptide, and I looked at him, and I was like, oh, I'm going to hit him with the disaster. And then he, man. Love Reggie. Great, I love Reggie, dude. Great I love guy. Don't Reggie ever so tell much. him that, though. But like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> just like, I, I just saw this like, eh, hey, this one. I, how many levels of Yomi is that going to get to, right? Where he's, if he's ready for you to grab, and then he's and then he's got the scissors and he's like constantly playing the rock paper scissors. Trust no one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, next time I'm gonna come at him with the. Oh, I already told him that once Nickelodeon All Star comes out, he's not. So he's hit the wiggity wiggity wiggity. Like you can't beat that. <laughs> he, tried, he tried to throw scissors. Like yo, you can't beat a wiggity with the uh, scissors. You just don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all right, that's.